Okay, I give the floor to European Center for Law and Justice. Thank you, Mr. President. For nearly a year, the government of the Islamic Republic of Iran has tried to silence my husband, Saeed Abedini, through illegal imprisonment, torture, and threats against our family. Why is he being held? Because he ex exercised his rights of religious freedom, expression, and peaceful assembly. This past week and today, this council has called on member states to recognize and uphold these fundamental freedoms. I hope that my presence here today will put a face to those who suffer when a government does not uphold its obligation to protect these freedoms. A pastor by trade, Said went to the Islamic Republic of Iran as part of an ongoing project to build an orphanage. In September, I received a phone call in the middle of the night notifying me that members of the Iran's Revolutionary Guard had placed my husband in solitary confinement in Evin prison. Upon arrest, I Iran neither informed him, him of his rights or the charges against him. After months of physical and psych psychological torture, an Iranian revolutionary court convicted my husband of attempting to undermine the national security of Iran because he has peacefully gathered with fellow Christian believers in private homes and has ex had expressed his religious belief. Without a fair trial, the court sentenced him to eight years in prison. On at least two known occasions, Iran's officials have physically tortured my husband. These instances of tortures have caused my husband to have symptoms of internal bleeding. To date, Iran has denied my husband medical treatment. My husband has broken no Iranian law. He simply exercised his fundamental rights and Iran has that Iran has acknowledged before this body it would uphold. Iran has, has kept Saeed's imprisonment because Saeed believes in forgiveness of sin through Jesus Christ and that whoever accepts this forgiveness of sin can be reconciled to the God of peace and love. This is the God of peace we're all searching for. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank you, Madam.